and the heavenly son, Yahweh Shah. We the Israelites, and we come out here to bring this truth, knowledge, and wisdom to wake our people up in these last days. That's right. Our people are asleep, in a dead sleep, and we come to wake you up and raise you up out of the dust, out of the dirt, because our people are spiritually dead. Let me get Romans 13 and 11. You know, we pay attention to a lot of these broadcasts and these movies. You know, it was a movie I was checking out, School Days, not too long ago. And it's a lot of powerful information in that movie, you know, with uh, Lawrence Fishburne telling our people to wake up. And our people are still asleep. Right, right. Our people are in the, serving the Greeks still, in all of these fraternities, and our people are dead sleep. Let me get that. It's the book of Romans, chapter 13. Verse 11, Bring it out. and that, knowing the time, and knowing the time, we in the time right now to raise up and keep the Heavenly Father's law, statutes, and commandments. That's, That's the only way you're going to make it up out of this dead sleep. Read. That now, it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now nah, it's high time to stay asleep and keep serving your oppressor. To awake out of sleep. It's high time to awake out of sleep, black man and black woman. Right. Native man, native woman, and Hispanic. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. That's right. You see all the destruction going on in the earth? Right. You see what's going on in the capital? You see what's going on in the Middle East? So-called Middle East. Right? Now is our salvation nearer than when we believed back in the 80s, back in the 90s. Right? We're in the 2000s, and we're getting ready to be delivered by the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Right. right. Verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Right, the night is far spent, the day is at hand, man. We spend many nights wondering how we're going to be delivered up out of this captivity, but it's written here the whole time to keep these law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. To wake up out of this dead sleep that our people are in in these last days, man. Right. Our people want to stay dead and keep serving these damn wicked oppressors, man. Hey, sister, you need to come back and serve your power in these last days. That's right. That's know that right. you're an Israelite upon the face of this earth. That's, That's right. Read. Right. Let us, therefore, cast off the works of darkness. Right, we got to cast off the works of darkness. And the works of darkness is the iniquity that we're in. The sins that we're in and we continue to commit. Defiling our temples and not coming back to serve our Heavenly Father. We got to wake up and start keeping these law, statutes, and commandments in these last days and put off that work of darkness. Right, Let me get uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and 14. And let us put on the armor of light. We got to put on the armor of light, which is the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Not staying in darkness. All right. According to Proverbs, it tells us that the law is our light and the commandment is our lamp to keep us going. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest. The Heavenly Father is telling you to awake, black man and black woman, you brothers on the corner, y'all need to awake and come back and serve your power. Right. And arise from the dead. And arise from the dead, you valley of dry bones. You've been asleep far too long in this captivity. Right. It's time to come back and serve your power. That's and right. Christ shall give thee light. Christ is going to give you the light that you need to make it up out of this wicked kingdom and this wicked society. That's where your light is gonna come from. The heavenly son who we call Yahweh Shai, not Jesus, right. all right? We call him Yahweh Shai because that's what his mother called him. That's right. Verse 15, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools. We ain't supposed to be out walking as fools, still smoking cigarettes, defiling our temples, right. still whoring out our women, treating them like sluts and dogs. That's these other nations, man. These other nations is dogs on the earth. Right. All right? You are a prince, you are a king, and you are princesses according to the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Son. That's right. But as wise. We supposed to be as wise, knowing the time that we're in, knowing that the place that we call Babylon, what you call America, is going to be destroyed in these last days. That's right. 
Verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Right, these days that we're going into are evil. You guys, these days that we're going into are evil. Right. Right? But you guys are looking for your stimulus checks. You're looking for your next bag. You know what I'm saying? You're looking for that next drink that you're going to get. But these days, we're going into our evil. Right. Verse 17. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of Yahweh is. Right. You're not supposed to be unwise in these days that we're... You're not supposed to... God, God. Read it again. Verse 17. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of Yahweh is. And we got we can't be unwise in these last days. We gotta understand what the will of our Father is. Alright? Our beloved brother David told us what the will of the Heavenly Father is, and that is the keeping of the law, statutes, and commandments. He said he delighted in that thing, but our people act like it's a hard thing to do. Right. You know what I mean? We don't, we don't want to serve our power. We want all of the blessings of the Heavenly Father, but don't nobody want the judgments that come from breaking his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. It's time you people wake up and put off your wickedness and come back and serve your power in these last days before you destroy with the nations that's written up to be destroyed in this kingdom. That's right. Verse 18. And be not drunk with wine. Be not drunk with wine. Brother, you're on the corner, and you was on the corner last week doing the same thing, and you're drunk with wine. You're drunk with the wickedness of America, brother. You're not lifted up in the spirit. Look at what you're doing, brother. It's time for you to raise up and come up out of this place, man, before it's destroyed. Read. Wherein is excess, but be filled with the spirit. No, we got to be filled with the spirit. You got to come over here and dwell with your brethren. You see, we're, we're, we're around like mind and spirit, and that's what we are about, keeping these law, statutes, and commandments. Not staying in darkness. Thus saith the Heavenly Father. This is Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. It's time to awake and put on your strength, Zion. Right. You law statutes, do these law statutes and commandments, you tribes of Israel. Right. Awake out of sleep. O Zion, put on thy beautiful garments. Put on your beautiful garments. Brothers, pull your pants up. Right. Sisters, come out of them jeans looking like a whore on these streets. Put on your beautiful garments. Put on your fringes. Show these nations who you are on the earth in these last days. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, Israel. Oh, Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Right, because a lot of our people are unclean. And they want to act like they serve in the Heavenly Father. You in these churches, they'll file in the holy day. You're not keeping the sanctification of the days that's written up in the scriptures, keeping the Sabbath day. You still want to stay, you still want to eat swine in the church and stay in your wickedness. We got to come out of that. We're supposed to be coming into the light, not staying in darkness. Arise. Verse 2. Shake thyself from the dust. Shake yourself from the dust. Because you're sleeping, dry bones. Right. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck. And the bands of your neck is breaking the Heavenly Father's law, statutes, and commandments. That's why we went into captivity as a people. Right. And our people are still in captivity until this day. Right. O captive daughter of Zion. Verse 3. For thus saith Yahweh, ye have, ye have sold yourself for naught. Man, you're selling yourself for naught. Look at this brother right here. What are you doing? You sold yourself for naught, brother, when the Heavenly Father gave you law, statutes, and commandments to rule everybody on the face of this earth. Right. A 
and ye shall be redeemed without money. And we're going to be redeemed with our money, thus saith Yahweh. You understand our true power. We don't need no stimulus check from these heathens, right. okay? We don't need no plan, you know, from no Egyptologists to get us up out of this condition. Our Heavenly Father said he's going to redeem us with our money. Right. Verse 4. But thus said Yahweh our power, my people went down a four time into Egypt. Right, because our people went down into Egypt a four time, and we served them. We was in captivity under the Egyptians back in the days. Read. To sojourn there, and the Syrian oppressed them without cause. And, and the Syrians oppressed us without cause. Because we continue to stay in wickedness instead of serving our power who told us to keep his law, statutes, and commandments. If you keep his law, statutes, and commandments, he will raise you up above all people upon the face of the earth. Read. Now therefore, what have I here said, Yahweh, that my people is taken away for naught? Our people are taken away for naught. You've forgotten who your power is. You forgot who your strength is. It's time to wake up. They that rule over them make them to howl. Save Yahweh. And right, our people, they still make our people to howl, right. singing these wicked songs. Right. And my name continually every day is blasphemed. And the Heavenly Father's name is blasphemed every day by wicked people throughout the four corners of the earth. In these churches, the Heavenly Father's name is blasphemed. Why? Because you continue to stay in your sin. Right. Only a wicked person will have service and still eat swine after the service, man. Bring it out. When the Heavenly Father told us not to defile ourselves with unclean meats. Right. Verse 6. Therefore my people shall know my name. Why are you supposed to know the Heavenly Father's name in these last days? Not staying in your wicked sin. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that, that don't speak. Behold, it is I. It is the most high that speak. Because what's coming is we got to realize is the real revolution, that's the solution, is coming by our power. Right. Not by this wicked government, not by Joe Biden, right. not by Donald Trump, right. not by none of these wicked oppressors. All right, the solution is coming from my Heavenly Father, and a revolution is about to take place in the earth. And that's only going to come by by keeping these law, statutes, and commandments. Right. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 22. Read out. Thy tacklings are loosed. Oh, looks like. Okay, Kyle. Shalakia. Isaiah 33 and 22. For the Most High is our judge. Right, the Heavenly Father is our judge. Right? Not no, not no damn judge in these courthouses. Right. Our people turn in submission under the courthouse. You turn, you take your hat off. Right? A brother don't want to take his hat off when he's preaching the word of God. You understand what I'm saying? Our Heavenly Father is our judge. That's who we're looking for to, you know, to serve in these last days, to keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Read. Come on. It says, the Most High is our lawgiver. The Most High is our lawgiver. Not that Edomite that's in that damn police car. That's right. You understand? Our people are in submission to these wicked rulers. Every time we see a police car behind us, we, we scared and cower right. like some babies. Read. Come on. The Most High is our King. The Most High is our King. He's our just power. And what's He going to do for us? He will save us. He's going to save us. Not that white man coming up out of that police car. That's right. Okay, that damn Edomite. Our Heavenly Father is going to do what for us? He will save us. He's going to save us out of this captivity. God. He's going to bring us up out of this nation that, that we was put into because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. So you got to wake up and know who you are in these last days. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 31, verse 1. Bring it out. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Woe to you that go down into Egypt and help. And we know that this is spiritual Egypt. 11 hours. Revelation 11 eight. We know that this is spiritual Egypt. And y'all people want to go down into Egypt for help, man. Right. 
and stay on horses and trust in chariots. Right, you want to trust in your person. You want to trust in your neighborhood friendly police officer for help when he's killing us. Right. That's right. All right, he's killing us for nothing. When our Heavenly Father told us to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, and he would protect us from anything. Right. Read. Because they are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Right, they might, they, they might be strong. They come out with their guns and their vests, right? They look, they look very terrifying to a weak man. You understand? But we don't care nothing about that, because right. we got our power from the Heavenly Father. You understand? That's right. Neither seek Yahweh. Y'all don't seek Yahweh. Y'all seeking them. Y'all don't seek Yahweh. Your power. Read. Verse 2. Yet he is also wise. And our Heavenly Father is wise. He gave us these law, statutes, and commandments to be wise above all nations upon the earth. That's right. And will bring evil and will not call back his words. Heavenly Father's word is not going to come back void, man. What he's written in these laws, it's going to come back and it's going to destroy you people. That's why we went into slavery, because it was written by Moses, he was our light, and we didn't listen, read. But will arise against the house of the evildoers. Right, it's gonna come upon you. The same way we fell into captivity because we broke our Heavenly, uh, our heavenly Father's law, statutes, and commandments, these destructions are gonna come upon you, you Edomites, you so-called white devils. Fight. And help. against the help of them that work iniquity and against you that continue to work iniquity because these law statutes and commandments was given to a peculiar people it wasn't given to everybody upon the face of the earth these law statutes and commandments was given to righteous people to uphold upon the earth God, this is the book of revelation chapter 11 verse 8 read out and their dead bodies and y'all dead bodies man you are spiritually dead in this place because you refuse to hearken unto the law, statutes, and commandments. God shall lie in the street of the great city. And then we're in the streets of this great city right now, Babylon the Great. Spiritually dead, which is called what? Which is spiritually called Sodom. Which is spiritually called Sodom because of all of the homosexual, all of the homosexuality that y'all portray in this earth. God. And spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And it's called Egypt because of the captivity that took place in this in this uh, wicked society. Where also our Lord was crucified. And how was our Lord crucified? You looking at it right there. You looking at that damn devil right there right. that they put up that image to play the heavenly sun upon the earth. Yahweh Shah, that is not our Lord. That's right. All right, that's the damn devil that the Bible speaks of right, right there. That's right. right. First time? It's closer to uh, Egypt, right? It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. Read up. I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Right, because when the, when the uh, Greeks went into the land of Egypt, they saw all of the captivity and they called the place Egyptos after bondage, okay? And that's what we call America spiritual Egypt, all right? Because of the bondage that is there. And brother, you got spirits on you. Give me Come. Deuteronomy 28, 28. Come. You got you got heavy you got you got heavy spirits on you, brother. Right. And you need to repent and come back and serve your power. Right. It's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 28. Check it out. Yahweh shall smite thee with madness. Hey, man, you smitten with madness, brother. Right. You smitten with madness, and you need to come out of that wicked spirit that you in. Right. Before you destroy it upon this earth in these last days. Right. And blindness and astonishment of heart. And you're blind, brother. You are blind in these last days. And you know not who you are. You think you commanded something? You commanding these cards? The Heavenly Father commanded you to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, man. That's right. Verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday. And you groping at noonday, brother. You groping right now. And you lost, brother. Read. As the blind groped in darkness. 
and you blind, brother, and you still, you groping in darkness. You don't know where you going. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And you're not going to prosper in your ways because you refuse to hearken unto the law, statutes, and commandments. How you doing, brother? And thou shalt be only oppressed. And you're going to only be oppressed because you refuse to hearken unto these law, statutes, and commandments. And spoil evermore, and no man shall save thee. And no man is going to save you but Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. That's who's going to save you. Not your wicked oppressors that's keeping you sleeping these last days. So it's time to understand how to repent. Boy, they pulling up. It's time to understand how to repent in these last days and come back and serve your power. Yep. 331. It's the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 31. Bring it out. Him hath God exalted with his right hand. To be a prince. We talking about Yahweh Shai. He's our prince. He's our savior. Right. But for who? It's not for all nations. And a savior for to give repentance to Israel. Unto everybody. To Israel. Unto everybody. To, to Israel. Israel. Yeah, our salvation and repentance is only to Israel. That's right. Do you have a shot? That's right. Yeah. And forgiveness of sins. And that's who the forgiveness of sins is for the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes. Right. Thus saith Yahweh, Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala.